Hey what's up guys, Snigsby1HD here and welcome back to another episode in my F1 2023 Haas career mode. And in today's episode we have got the Japanese Grand Prix around the Suzuka International Racing Course. So before we get into FP1, make sure you drop a like on the video if you are enjoying this series. Make sure you subscribe for more and uh, just a bit of news to go through. A uh, bit of new uh, Fernando Alonso has announced his retirement at the end of the season in this career mode and um and uh looking at the looking at our upgrades we have got one major upgrade um uh in the uh uh in the works we're doing the side pod profile on the aerodynamics but that is the only thing we are going to be doing because we we are going to be getting the new regulations for the second season of course we're not going to be doing a season two this is only going to be a one season career but uh, but uh, we will have to upgrade the energy store, so we are going to have to take a grid penalty this weekend. Looking at other engine parts, ICE, that's at 59%. MGUK, that's at 6%. 45% wear on the MGUH. Uh, we're getting a new energy store fitted onto the car. Turbocharger, that's at 36%. Controller electronics, that's at 27%. And gearbox wear, that's at 25%. Looking at the championship standings, we're currently seven, uh, second in the Drivers' Championship and we are fourth in the Constructors' Championship. So uh, we're having a very, very good season. We really are. We are, doing, we are doing really well with Haas. Really have thoroughly enjoyed this career mode. Mercedes leading the way in the Constructors' Championship. If you guys did miss the last episode around the Singapore Grand Prix, I would definitely recommend going back and checking that out but let's just not waste any time let's just get straight into fb1 here around the japanese grand prix here we go Right, okay, getting ready to go out on track, ready for FP1 here around the Japanese Grand Prix. Uh, we have got the Japanese Grand Prix uh, this weekend as I'm recording this. <clears throat> as I'm recording this video, we have caught up with real life Formula One in this Haas, in this Haas career mode. We have got the real life uh, Japanese Grand Prix and uh, we are going to be taking a 10 place grid penalty because of the upgrade on the energy store. And, uh, of course, um, in case you guys haven't seen qualifying, Max Verstappen does take pole position, bouncing back after a after a disappointing week, after a disappointing race in Singapore last time out. Uh, he takes pole position, but what a performance by Oscar Piastri, finishing in P2, and, uh, and uh, his McLaren teammate rounding out the top three, Lando Norris starting in third. So, hopefully... Uh, Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris can both have a good result uh, in tomorrow's race. But yeah, if Max Verstappen wins this weekend, he will wrap up the he will wrap up the constructors' championship for Red Bull this weekend. There we go. But yeah, hopefully, but yeah, um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are still enjoying the content on the channel. We've got plenty more Formula One and uh, sim racing content to come your way on the channel. Um, really looking forward to getting into our into our F2 career mode. Uh, really excited about that when the F2 cars get released. Uh, of course, we we're. we're We've nearly finished the. We've nearly finished season one of the My Team Career Mode, so cannot wait to get into season two of that series. We have got the penultimate race around the uh, Las Vegas Grand Prix, which uh, I'm which I'm very excited about.
So we will up <clears throat> we will upgrade the ICE um, before the race. As um, we set a one minute thirty two point six zero three. And of course, bit of news in real life Formula One. Oscar Piastri uh, has extended his contract with McLaren uh, until 2026. And Alpha Tauri, they are going to be keeping hold of uh, Yuki Tsunoda and Daniel Ricciardo. So, which is uh, pretty cool. I would, have liked, I would have liked to see Liam Lawson be on the grid for next season. You never know. You never know. He could potentially uh, replace... Um, Logan Sargent because he did have a big crash in qualifying um, so uh, yeah of course his future in Formula 1 is still a bit uncertain but personally I still think Logan Sargent will be on the grid uh, next season but uh, where are we going But yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying the Haas career mode, and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting into our, um, getting into our, uh, yeah, really excited about the F2 career mode. Cannot wait for that, and um, as we do beat our previous lap time, we do a one minute thirty-one point nine five one. Uh, what was I? Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, plenty more sim racing content to come your way on the channel um of course we are still doing the has career mode and the my team career mode and of course uh, talking of f2 career modes the retro f2 career modes they will be returning um probably as soon as the probably soon as the uh, 2023 f2 career mode has um has concluded we will jump back into those um with uh, antoine hubert and callum Eilot. So yeah, I'm thinking of uh, as uh, Oscar Piastri does take our fastest lap away. Um, but yeah, I think when we when we return to the F2 career modes after the 2023 uh, F2 wall F2 career mode has concluded, we will um, we will uh, go ahead and. Um, We will go ahead and um, and wrap up as soon as the 2023 F2 career mode has concluded. We will go ahead and finish up the Antoine Hubert uh, F2 career mode, and then we'll and then we'll jump back into the Callum Eilat career mode. That's what I'm thinking. So we are going to box. We are going to change tyres, and then we are going to get back out on track. So, in terms of when we are going to upgrade the ICE, I'm thinking of doing it when we bo when we come in, when we box round about lap 6. So yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade the ICE. So, let's go ahead and uh, get some uh, get some soft tyres onto the car, and then get back out on track. Everyone be aware, we've got a car leaving the garage. Okay, Lando Norris, he sets the fastest lap time.
Okay, Lewis Hamilton now, he puts in the fastest lap. Wow, P2, okay, we'll take that, absolutely. Cannot believe how 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 I didn't go into the wall there. So yeah, I just ran horribly wide there. So let's ride on board with Lando's view. Oh, oh. I almost, I almost took out Lando Norris, but yeah, we'll try that again. But yeah, I. Right, let's uh, let's give that another go. Without running wide, that's better. Okay, so onto the penultimate lap before we dive into the pits. We've actually gone fastest, so we've overtaken uh, Lewis Hamilton. Oh no.
Man, it's such a difficult track to zook. Uh, really, I do like driving around it, but my gosh, it can be challenging. This this Suzuka circuit. And and um, and in terms of other sim racing games, we are going to be doing on the channel. We are going to be doing um, we are going to be doing um, the WRC Rally games, going from WRC five all the way up to WRC twenty three. Um, what else? Dirt Rally. We're going to be doing the NASCAR games. Um, Project Cars. We're going to be doing the career mode on that. So of course. Uh, Competizione, we're going to be doing the career mode on that. Uh, F1 Classics, a brand new series which I'm very excited to get into in the future. So we are going to box pick confirm at the end of this lap. And then uh, and then we'll go ahead and jump. So yeah, we'll box at the end of this lap. I'll go ahead and get the IC repaired and then we'll jump straight into, uh, into FP2. Stroll does move out of the way in his Williams. Into the pits we go, and we'll get straight into uh, FP2. It's time to remind ourselves of our top three, who are Oscar Piastri, Hamilton, and Yuki Tsunoda. Sadly, it's time to say goodbye as free practice is over. However, we'll be back shortly for more Formula One action. So there we go then. Qualifying does come to a close, and Oscar Piastri. Does top FP1 here around the Japanese Grand Prix with Lewis Hamilton in P2 and Yuki Tsunoda in third. We finished down in sixth. And where did our teammate Nico Hulkenberg finish? He finished down in 16th. Okay, so let's get into FP2 here for the Japanese Grand Prix. Here we go. Right, okay, getting ready to go out on track, ready for FP2 here around the Japanese Grand Prix. Uh, we did up. I did upgrade the ICE, so we got a new one of those, which is good. Um, so, really, our next engine part is the MGUH. So, we're starting out on a set of medium tyres this time round. give that another go
Okay, so we set a 1 minute 30.958 as our first lap time, not too bad. Okay, so we are going to box pit confirm at the end of this lap and uh, then we'll go ahead and put a set of soft tyres onto the car and then we'll go ahead and uh, get back out on track. wide there okay into the pits we go and we'll get a set of soft tyres onto the car and then we'll get back out on track Okay then, let's go ahead and get fresh set of soft tyres onto the car and then we'll get back out on track. Okay, when you're ready, let's go. Right, I'm, I'm ready to go Mark, let's get back out on track.
Okay, George Russell does set, fastest lap time. I've got one of the Alpha Tauris just ahead of us. That is Alex Albon. Is he pitting? No, he's not. Yeah, I just want to say once again a massive thank you to everyone for the incredible support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. So yeah, thank you all so much, guys. Let's go purple in the second sector. Here we go, rounding. Final couple of corners. Activate the DRS. Okay. Oh, we're only 15 thousandths of a second off George Russell's time. Damn. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, that's not going to help. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's give that another go. Okay, so we're on to the penultimate lap before we dive into the pits. Okay, so we're currently down in P3 at the moment. Slap 
Okay, so we are going to box pit confirm at the end of this lap, and um, and then we will jump straight into uh, and then we'll jump uh, straight into uh, into FP3. Into the pits we go, and we'll get straight into FP3. The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our top three. Norris, Sainz, and George Russell. And that's it, practice is officially over. Until next time, goodbye. So, there we go then, the end of FP2. Lando Norris does top FP2 with Carlos Sainz in second, George Russell in third, and we finished down in fourth. So, let's see where our teammate Nico Hülkenberg finished. He finished down in 16th. Lance Stroll DNF'd. Wow. What what happened then? Ah, terminal damage. So, he must have had a big crash. Interesting. Okay, so, let's get into FB3. Here for, here for the Japanese Grand Prix. Here we go. Right, okay, getting ready to go out on track, ready for FP3 around the Japanese Grand Prix here at Suzuka. So, let's see what we can do. Here we go.
Okay, so we are going to box at the end of this lap. We'll go ahead and put a fresh set of the uh, soft compound of tyres on the car and then we'll get back out on track. That wasn't a very good corner. <laughs> okay, into the pits we go, and we'll go ahead and put and we'll go ahead and put a fresh set of soft tyres on the car, and then we'll get back out on track. Set. We're ready to go, so let's get the car out onto the track. Okay then, getting ready to go back out on track. So we have got the Alfa Romeo of uh, Valtteri Bottas just ahead of us. Oh my gosh. Was that I'm sorry what on earth was that from Valtteri Bottas okay so we are gonna get past him this time very strange but uh, Carlos Sainz he's currently leading uh, FB3 as it stands No. Damn it.
Okay, so we are going to box at the end of this lap, and then we will jump straight into qualifying. And with the cars now over the line, let's see our top three again. Hamilton, Leclerc, and Lando Norris. And if today's practice is anything to go by, we're in for an exceptional weekend of Formula One. So there we go then, the end of FP3 and Lewis Hamilton does top FP3 with with Charles Leclerc in P2 and Lando Norris in third, Max Verstappen in fourth, we finish down in fifth ahead of Sergio Perez and Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari. Where did our teammate Nico Hülkenberg finish down in 18th? Okay, so let's get into race day, um, let's get into qualifying should I say, here for the Japanese Grand Prix, here we go. Right, okay, here we are then, ready for qualifying here around Suzuka, here for the Japanese Grand Prix. So, let's just jump straight into qualifying and let's see where we can put the car on the grid for tomorrow. Here we go. Okay, rounding the final corner, activate the DRS. We are going to be qualifying in P3, but of course we won't be starting in P3 because of our 10th place grid penalty. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid. Russell, Norris and Mr. Monaco. With qualifying complete, all that remains now is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. So there we go then, George Russell does take pole position here for the Japanese Grand Prix. Lando Norris, he's going to be starting P2 um, and we are we are we qualified in third but of course we're not going to be starting in third. We are going to be dropping down uh, 10 places because of our grid penalty. Where did Nico Hülkenberg qualify? All the way down in 17th. Okay, so let's get into race day here for the Japanese Grand Prix. Here we go. Beloved Suzuka had a couple of unplanned years away from the calendar, but it's now back where it belongs, at the heart of the Formula One season. Welcome along to the Japanese Grand Prix. A lap of this historic racetrack covers 3.6 miles. It's the only time during the season that we race on a figure of eight circuit. And the drivers can expect some intense G-forces through the 18 corners on offer here as they experience some of the highest average apex speeds on the Formula One calendar. Keep an eye out for overtakes into the final chicane. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position. And Lando Norris lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Oscar Piastri, Hamilton, Leclerc, Perez, Verstappen, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Gasly, Sonoda, 
Mr. Monaco, Joe, Albon, Ocon, Hulkenberg, Stroll, De Vries, and Logan Sargent. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat is Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching out for as they head into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space, and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. Right, okay, here we are then, down on the grid, ready for the um, Japanese Grand Prix. We are going to be going with the softs to medium strategy for the race today. Uh, 19 laps ahead of us, we're starting P13 on the grid because of our grid penalty. Let's get into the formation lap. The formation lap gets underway then, and it's going to be interesting today to see how the dry conditions can affect the lifespan of the tyres. Excuse me. Back to the starting grid to form up and get ready for lights out. Let's hope the race ahead today is a thrilling one that will go down as a memorable Grand Prix in the history books. Okay, here we go. Here we go, it is time for the Japanese Grand Prix around Suzuka. 19 laps ahead of us. And it is lights out and away we go. And we have got off to an excellent start here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. Well, we did until, until that point. Let's... Uh, Try that one again. Whoa, whoa, oh my gosh. Right. Oh no, oh come on. What? What? Do I? Do I? Oh, I think I did. I think I did come across the Alfa Romeo there. Right, let's uh, give that another go. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh. Man. Oh man. Carlos signs and Max Verstappen still going side by side. So we are gonna, so we're just gonna stay behind. No, we're not. We're gonna get past Fernando Alonso. I was about to say we are just going to um, just stay behind the 2006 Japanese Grand Prix winner Fernando Alonso, but we go, we do manage to get past Fernando Alonso. Ah! Oh my gosh! I was not expecting to do a double overtake there, but we have done. Wow! Okay. Already up into P7. Up next, the other Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. Okay, here we go. Trying to close up to Charles Leclerc in that Ferrari. Without 
without without making without crushing into him. Right, let's uh, try that again. What a what a chaotic opening lap around Suzuka this has been. overtake what we did on the other Ferrari yes we are we're gonna give Charles Leclerc a big old squeeze there okay, good work. Great team happy with the overtake so we're taking it up next Sergio Perez let's see if we can close up close up to the Mex to the Mexican driver in the Red Bull Gaining, gaining, gaining on Checo. My, do we go for a send? I think we do. Oh, <laughs> yeah, nah. Probably that was definitely not what I had planned, but. Uh, okay. Right, let's see if we can.
On the inside is Sergio Perez and we have got past the Red Bull and we go up to P5. Brilliant. Nice move. Good job. Gap to your teammate behind is 13. Team happy with that overtake. That was a good overtake. That was a really good one. Okay, round we go. Checo is going to try and come back and we are going to hold off the Mexican driver and we do hold on to P5. So yeah, we will be boxing at the end of lap 8, so we're going to say no for a front wing change. Oh, that was a bit wide. Perez just decided to just decided he just didn't wanna didn't, didn't wanna didn't wanna battle battle for P5 there so Looks like Nando Norris is leading the Japanese Grand Prix. I think he is. into the pits we go hopefully a nice clean and tidy stop by the team so it'll be interesting to see where we are going to re-emerge in, in this Japanese Grand Prix 
Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. Whoa. What is that? Okay. Right, round the outside of Sergeant. Can we get past Joe Guan Yu? Yes. No, no we can't. Ugh. Right, let's try that again. Right, okay, come on. Should be able to get past Nick to freeze. I was saying that. Surely we've got him now. Yep, we've got past him. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. Right, up next, Esteban Ocon. Nico Holkenberg in, Esteban Ocon in. Are we going to get the jump on Lewis? Yes, we are. No, 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 no. I am not having that. Alex Albon into the pits. Okay, you're in the top ten.
Sorry, George.
Whoa. I mean, did I make contact with Hamilton? Yeah. Yeah. He does manage to hold on ahead of George Russell. That was a pretty that was a very good save. That was a very good save from Hamilton to keep the car going there and not completely looping it and crashing into his teammate. But yeah, I don't. But yeah, we're not going to be catching up to Lando Norris, guys. It is going to be a battle for P2 in this Grand Prix between myself and and seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton. George Russell, he manages to get past Lewis Hamilton. Okay, so we're on to lap 17 of this Grand Prix. We've got Three more laps to go of the Japanese Grand Prix here around Suzuka. Here around Suzuka. What a race it has been! Really has been a really good race. There we go. bit of contact between myself and George there. Have we picked up any damage? I really do hope not. Let's have a quick check. Nope, we're okay. So we're on to the penultimate lap of the race. Lando Norris, seven seconds up the road. Let's just get the Haas car, let's just get this Haas car to the checkered flag. Honestly, this, this Haas career mode has been so, so much fun. Honestly, it could be one of my favourites. Genuinely, I've thoroughly enjoyed this. Pass career mode. And F122 is a game on the whole. It has been very good. Yes, you know, it has still got its yes, it has got its bugs and weird glitches, but but it is a good game. It really is a it really is a great F1 game. I mean the driving it is so so much better than F122. It is yeah. The driving is just Superb. I really like it. Round we go. Break, break, break. Okay, here we go. Rounding the final corner. About to start the final lap. 
here around Suzuka. So final lap of the Japanese Grand Prix is underway. Let's just keep it nice and clean and tidy. Definitely feel these tyres starting to go. Excuse me. Go. Here we go, rounding the final corner. London Norris will take home the race victory for McLaren. And we are going to come through for P2. And George Russell, he's going to come through for P3. Top job, mate. Good Top result. Job. Very, very yes. good result. I worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but man, you pulled through. Thank you. Well done. And we pick up driver of the day. It was a tough race at times, but they've held on to take a great victory for McLaren today. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. But what set them apart from the rest? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed. It's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be McLaren picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for that fantastic performance. Let's have a look then at the driver's standings. This result then narrows the gap between our championship leader and the rest of the standings. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I think for driver of the day, I'd probably pick Lando Norris. He lived up to every inch of his reputation today, and I think he'll be going home quite rightly a bit proud of himself. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. So, there we go then. The end of the Japanese Grand Prix, and Lando Norris does take home the race victory. We come through for P2. Uh, on the We come through for P2. We, start, we, of course, started the race in 13th place because of our grid penalty. George Russell, he comes through for P3, and he takes home the bonus point for the fastest lap of the race. Lewis Hamilton finishing in 4th, Oscar Piastri in 5th, uh, Charles Leclerc 6th, Max Verstappen 7th, Sergio Perez down in 8th, uh, Carlos Sainz in 9th, Fernando Alonso rounding out the top 10, any other changes? Nope, our teammate Nico Hülkenberg down in 16th, uh, Drivers' Championship, we're now only 16 points behind Max Verstappen, so we could potentially take her take the driver's take a driver's championship for Haas but Lewis Hamilton 37 points behind in third place Lando Norris um George Russell should I say 63 points behind any other changes uh to the championship uh Nico Hülkenberg in 15th place uh still Joe Guanyu and Logan Sargent 
yet to score points. Drivers' Championship, Red Bull, Mercedes are now 37 points clear of Red Bull in second. Ferrari in third. We're gonna we're in fourth. McLaren in fifth. Uh, Aston Martin sixth. Alpine seventh. Williams in eighth. Alfa Romeo ninth, and Alfa Tauri down in tenth with three points. But that is gonna be the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, make sure you. Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe for more. And next time out, we're heading to the La Salle International Circuit for the Qatar Grand Prix. So yeah, you guys do not want to miss that.